Welcome back to Data Cloud Now. Today we are exploring manufacturing and the entire ecosystem has descended on Hanover Messe in Germany. Let's go to the show floor where I am delighted to be joined by Srini and Chris at LTI Mindtree. Gentlemen, such a pleasure to have LTI Mindtree back on Data Cloud Now. You define your company as a new kind of technology consulting firm. As it relates to the manufacturing industry, what are you seeing and how is your team adapting to an ever-changing environment? Srini, if you'd like to start. Yeah, thanks Ryan, uh, great to be here, great to be talking to you. Uh, LTI Mindtree comes with about almost eight decades of experience in engineering and manufacturing. We are seeing a once in a lifetime or once in a century renaissance that's happening in the industry, be it companies moving towards subscription model where they are bringing their products, software, services together, what's happening with the electrification and the customer experience focus in the industry, and then obviously the direct to consumer. I think there's a lot that's happening. Uh, and we are investing heavily to make sure that we benefit from this opportunity. It's almost a trillion dollar opportunity that we are facing with. Uh, we've built specific uh, capabilities to address these micro verticals as we call it, be it in the OEM space, be it in the industrial production space, be it in the automotive space. Uh, we've, we've built the industry consulting team with Chris Heads here and he'll talk about that, which brings in the domain capability. And then obviously the entire ecosystem and the partner ecosystem that we are building so that we can build an end-to-end -end solution that we can take to our clients is positioning us uniquely to address these uh, challenges and the opportunities in the, in the marketplace. And Chris, from your perspective, what would you like to add? Yeah, I think, uh, like Srini mentioned, this is a huge, you know, what we call as the manufacturing renaissance. Uh, every aspect of manufacturing is changing across the value chain, you know, the way in which you buy, the way in which you make, the way in which you sell, and what you make and sell. Everything is changing. And it's changing, you know, through the power of digital technologies. And it's one of the most exciting times to be uh, in the digital business is when you can see such quantum change that is driving not just the way in which products are made and sold, but the way in which people use these products, the way in which people experience these products, and how it's actually you know, adding to productivity, adding to experience, adding to safety. So it's a very exciting time to be in this field. You know, gentlemen, I loved what you just said, a renaissance within the manufacturing industry. And as it relates to current events with the launch of the manufacturing data cloud, how will this position you and your clients for success in, as we er earlier discussed, this hyper-competitive environment? Srini, if you'd like to start. Yeah, um, I think um, we, Chris, in fact, just did a wonderful presentation at the fair here where we talked about our manufacturing next solution, which we partnered along with Snowflake on the data cloud. Um, we are seeing tremendous uh, traction. Um, many of our cl clients are very eager to understand the solution. Uh, we are partnering, obviously, with Snowflake um, and your capability on the data where we can pull in from different sources is helping us drive that solution. So great times, now we are very excited. You know, Chris, uh, Srini just mentioned you just delivered your presentation there on site. I can feel the energy and excitement. You know, what are your key takeaways? Yeah, see, I think the uh, important thing to matter is like manufacturing cloud is, if, if you were to take parallels, uh, something like a snowflake manufacturing data cloud will have the same impact that the public cloud had on on-prem infrastructure. It's going to shrink the time from 10x to 100x in some cases. But as, as you've seen with the cloud journey evolution where you know, cloud people started adopting it as IAS and you know, using it exactly the way they used to use on-prem. Similarly, I think there's also going to be a maturity improvement in the manufacturing industry. People are going to adopt the cloud for speed when you start seeing the value coming in. How can you leverage data from your enterprise, from outside to de-risk your supply chains? Right? How do you get central visibility into plants that are potentially spread around the world, hundreds of plants around the world, central visibility, ability to manage? So, you know, I see this as a catalyst in driving the future of manufacturing. You know, I love that, a catalyst to your point. It's great to have both of your perspectives on the current state of affairs. A question for both of you now, what excites you about the future, not only of LTI Mindtree, but the collective manufacturing industry as a whole? Srini, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think it's um, the focus on digital transformation. I think be it use of data, use of analytics, and how that's transforming what the, the companies can take to their end customer. Um, the focus on 
personalization, focus on customer experience, and I think that's going to drive some very specific solutions. But I'm also equally excited about the topics like sustainability. I think there's, I was going around the place here, the focus on sustainability is immense, and I think that will not only drive more opportunities for organizations, but also more ethical ways of doing businesses. So no, I think, I think great times ahead. Srini, thank you so much for that perspective. You know, Chris, from your standpoint, what excites you about this next chapter? Yeah, as I said, you know, this is a very exciting time to be in manufacturing and technology. Uh, like Srini mentioned, technology is just changing the face of manufacturing across the life cycle. And it's not just changing how manufacturing happens within an enterprise, but it is changing how these products are sold uh, to customers, how customers experience these products, right? So if you look at industrial manufacturing, they're truly moving away from selling products to selling products plus services plus software in a subscription model. If you look at automotive, again, it's a quantum change, you know, for electrification and autonomy are changing the industry completely. If you look at chemicals and, you know, oil and gas companies, the focus is on energy transition and sustainability. So there's a quantum change happening across the manufacturing life cycle. And we at LTI Mindtree are very, very excited because we are actually a part of this change. You know, we are helping several industrial manufacturers to move to that service model. You know, we are helping setting up the, you know, the service systems, the ERPs, the solutions that help them deliver this business. We are helping automakers, you know, engage directly with customers and improve their cu customer experience. And it's also important to recognize that through this shift, the, the role of the CEO of a manufacturing company, right? Does, it doesn't stop at just the shareholder value that they deliver. They are responsible for, you know, greater uh, issues such as sustainability, safety, uh, social impact, etc. And so it's a very, very exciting time to be in manufacturing and LTI Mindtree is, I think, uniquely qualified to be a part of this uh, transformation. Well, gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure. You know, to your point, we're very much in this renaissance period, so it's an exciting next chapter for LTI Mindtree. Thank you so much for being on Data Cloud Now. And next time we do this conversation, let's do it in person. How does that sound? <laughs> Thank you Absolutely. very much. Absolutely. Look forward to it. See you soon. Thank you. Looking forward to it, gentlemen, for the audience tuning in. I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you next time.